His record for assists in the franchise. Nice find of Durant by Westbrook. And there's the first basket for KD. Just last year, he tried to do so much in the absence of Westbrook. You mentioned Reggie Jackson being another offensive weapon for this team. Beautiful move by Durant and a great finish by Kevin at the hoop. Greatness to help jumpstart Ibaka. Four for four from the field for Sean Marion. Dallas back on top. Durant, this is arm grabbed. And the foul is called. And I'm not sure if I'm Dallas, if I don't keep Marion on Durant and play Vince Carter, who's a pretty good low post defender on Ibaka versus the other way around. Marion is, to me, one of the most versatile defenders we've ever seen in this game. And you've got to try to keep link on link with Durant. Point to the four in that game. And we know James has done that famously recently in Jordan some 15 years ago. And Marion has that ability. Start for now for this Dallas team is Shane Larkin. Their draft pick has a fractured right ankle and not in action thus far this year. Crowder, that's Crowder out of Marquette comes up uh, with the call there. There's the bit of a bio. Uh, Mikel, very interesting uh, route. Jeff playing in Israel, playing at a very high level on championship teams, the Super League. The MVP of the Super League in Israel last year. And I've had a couple people tell me that he's sneaky good. Rick Carlisle likes him very much. Says he's, has to, he's had to work on developing his range back to the NBA line, but he's tough, he's steady, he can keep the ball in front. They've had a couple difficult losses to the Lakers on opening night, and now to the Magic, and, and I think Houston is showing you what kind of team they can be. I think they've played very, very well. The Thunder, four-point lead, Durant from the outside, takes it up to seven, it's the third field goal for Kevin. Both he and Russell West. 50, 40, 90 mark. So out of the timeout, Rick Carlisle designing a little hammer play that George Carl back in the studio would recognize since he invented it and would have had an open three-point shot if the pass had been on target. On the drive, foul on Dallas. Foul is on number one. Dallas, you mentioned George Carl. You are a television professional. Great segue to the Toyota halftime. Thanks for the setup. George Carl standing by with Sage Steele in the studio. Pacers remaining the only unbeaten. And in an injury update on Steph Curry. One thing you can say about our team this year, we will not be outcoached. Oh, we're deep. We're deep. The, yes. <laughs> you, George, Hubie, P.J. Carlissimo. Avery Johnson. Avery Johnson, yep. That's right. The all-fired club. <laughs> Maybe you, you can start a fired basketball coach as a system. That's the pain I'm feeling right now. Cephalosha Durant on the punch and the long arms of this Oklahoma City team. Very sloppy third quarter both ways. Durant takes them all on and one. Kevin Durant. For Oklahoma City, Durant that 50, 40, 90 season in terms of Field goal percentage, three-point percentage, and the free throw percentage. Counter. Working on the perimeter, but Blair couldn't get that pass, and Durant gets a jumper. And I'm going to say, Stephen Adams has set a handful yes. of meaningful... And he was talking about the ability to get where he was can beat people off the dribble. You haven't seen him play at the center position Often as Durant hits an incredible fade with Jay. Lost two games off the, the 3-0 start. Carter Williams named the player of the week. Saw 